Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some recipes using the super versatile and protein packed ingredient that is tofu. So I feel like the taste and texture of tofu on its own, it's nothing particularly special, but I think why tofu is so amazing is that it's just, there's so much that you can do with it. And I think the magic is in how we prepare it. So the different spices and marinades that we toss it in or the different dipping sauces that we enjoy it with. So today we're gonna to be sharing three epic tofu recipes, two impress plus two awesome dipping sauces that go really well with them. So let's dive right in. For the first recipe, we're making some delicious tofu veggie skewers together with a wicked awesome vegan tzatziki sauce. So for this recipe, we're gonna be baking our skewers in the oven, but you could also barbecue them if you'd like. But because the skewers are made of wood, they do tend to burn. So one way to prevent that from happening is to just put these in a bowl and then pour over top some cold water and let it sit and rest for about 15 minutes. For all of the recipes that we're gonna be making today, we're gonna to be using some extra firm tofu, and we always wanna squeeze out as much liquid as possible from this. The reason being that once the liquid is gone, then it lets the tofu absorb more of the marinade if you're marinating it, or it just helps it crispen up faster, either on the stove or in the oven. Now there's a few different ways that we can do this. Some people use a tofu press for that, and others just put it on a plate and then put something heavy on top of it, something like a clean pot, and then let it sit for about 15 minutes. That way the liquid seeps out. Personally though, I don't have a tofu press and I don't usually have the patience to wait 15 minutes. So what I just like to do is take the tofu and squeeze it with my hands over the sink. Now the trick to this is that you want to apply a really even pressure all throughout. Otherwise, if you just do it to one localized area, it can tend to crumble, but feel free to use whichever of these methods works best for you. Once the tofu has been drained, we're using about a 450 gram block here. We're then gonna to wanna to cut it into thin little bite-sized pieces, and then we can transfer it to a bowl. I'm gonna also add an optional little drizzle of olive oil and toss it to gently coat. And then we can sprinkle over top a tablespoon of cornstarch, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half of a teaspoon of salt, and about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then we can toss it to coat again. One ingredient that you're gonna see in every single one of the recipes that we're making today is cornstarch. So when you combine cornstarch together with salt and then you coat tofu pieces with it, what it tends to do is just helps it crispen up, whether it's on the stove or in the oven. If you don't have cornstarch though, you can use arrow root starch, potato starch, flour even, but we just find that corn starch works the best when it comes to crispening tofu. Next, we can make the marinade. So to a bowl or jar, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, along with a tablespoon of lemon juice, or the juice from about half of a lemon, along with a quarter teaspoon each of dried oregano, dried thyme, dried basil, and salt, and a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. Then we can just give this all a whisk and set it aside for now. Now we're already ready to assemble the skewers. This is straightforward enough. It just involves threading the tofu onto the skewers along with whatever other veggies you think you might enjoy. So here we're adding on very thinly sliced sweet potatoes, some chopped red onions, some zucchini, and some bell peppers. The important thing that we just wanna keep in mind here when we're preparing the veggies is just to cut them into similar sized chunks as the tofu. That way everything cooks together at the same time. And do keep in mind that ingredients like potatoes and sweet potatoes, they need to be sliced just a little bit more thinly so that it is all finished cooking at the same time as the other veggies. We're just gonna then repeat this process of layering everything until the skewer is filled up. And then I like to add a little cherry tomato on top. Now once the skewers are assembled, we can then brush the marinade over top of it. So just making sure to coat it evenly on all sides. And then we can place this onto a wiring rack or your barbecue if you're planning on barbecuing it. Now we just put ours straight onto the rack here, but feel free to put some baking paper underneath if you'd like a little bit less of a mess. We can then place the rack in a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. And here I'm just putting a baking tray underneath it just to catch any liquid that might seep out. We're then gonna bake these in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes altogether. So while the skewers are baking away, we're gonna make a dip that goes so well with it. It's a vegan tzatziki recipe. You might have seen in a previous video, I showed you that I was enjoying it, but I didn't walk you through the steps on how to make it yourself at home. And it's just too good of a recipe to not properly show you how to make. So this is, in my opinion, the best vegan tzatziki recipe. So to a bowl, we're gonna add one cup of an unsweetened 
plant-based yogurt. So here I'm using soy yogurt and we're also gonna add in three cloves of crushed garlic. We're gonna also grate about half of a large cucumber. I'm just using a box grater for this. And then what we're gonna wanna do after we've grated it is just gather the cucumber in your hand and then give it a squeeze. We wanna try to get rid of as much of the, the juice and liquid as possible. And then we can transfer this to the bowl as well. And then next what we're gonna wanna do is pluck the leaves off of a generous but a quarter cup amount of fresh dill. And then we can finely chop this and add it to the bowl too, along with two tablespoons of lemon juice, or the juice from about one full lemon, along with a tablespoon of olive oil, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and finally some freshly cracked black pepper. And we can give this all a mix, and then you've got yourself some delicious tzatziki ready for the eating. Now, once the skewers are baked to our liking, we can remove them from the oven, plate them up, and enjoy them alongside our garlicky yogurt dip. These skewers are really simple to make, but it's seriously so impressive. Anyone that you serve it to is really gonna enjoy it, especially when it's together with that tzatziki as a dipping sauce. And grilling the veggies, it just helps to caramelize them, and especially when we've brushed that herby marinade over top, all together it kind of brings out the natural sweetness and flavors of each ingredient. For the next recipe, we're making some buffalo-style tofu sticks that's gonna be served together with a vegan ranch dipping sauce. So first, we're gonna prep three shallow bowls. To the first bowl, we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of cornstarch. Then to the second bowl, we're gonna add in about half of a cup of unsweetened plant-based milk. And finally, to the third cup, we're gonna add in half of a cup of breadcrumbs, along with a teaspoon of paprika powder, half a teaspoon each of ground cumin and garlic powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then we can just give this all a mix. Next, we're gonna cut our 450 gram block of pre-pressed tofu into strips. Ours are about five centimeters long and about a centimeter or so thick. And so once we've cut up all of the tofu, we can then begin the transformation process. So first, what we're gonna wanna do is roll the tofu sticks in some cornstarch, just lightly coating it on all sides. You wanna avoid any big lumps of cornstarch on here. So just using our hands, we can brush off any extra starch. And then we can move the strip over to the second bowl where we can dunk it in the plant milk. We just wanna let any excess liquid drip off before we then transfer it to the final bowl where we're gonna give it a roll in the breadcrumb mixture. Then we can transfer this to a parchment lined baking tray. I find that this one is super fun to make, especially if you're doing it together with kids or friends or family, get them in on the action with you, making a little assembly line of coating, dunking and rolling. So when the sticks are all spread out over the baking tray, we can then pop them in a preheated oven at 430 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the tofu crisps are nice and golden and crispy, stopping to give it a flip at least once halfway if you can. So while that's baking away, we're gonna make the buffalo sauce for this recipe. We'll be using about half of a cup of Frank's Red hot sauce, but feel free to use any other cayenne pepper hot sauce that you'd like. We just find the taste of this one works really well. Plus we're gonna add in three tablespoons of vegan butter, or you could use vegan margarine, either is fine, plus half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna transfer the saucepan over to the stove. We wanna heat it up over medium high heat just until the butter has dissolved and it's all one uniform consistency and when it is, we can then remove the saucepan from the heat. These buffalo strips, they are delicious on their own, but if you wanna elevate it, take it to the next level, you can serve it with some vegan ranch dip if you'd like, and we'll show you how to make it. Now, one of the ingredients that we're gonna be using for it is this homemade two-minute ranch spice mix. It's something we always have in the pantry because we use it all the time. And we've shared the recipe in a previous video, you might remember, but I'll leave the, the breakdown of how to make this as well in the description box below. Now, to make the ranch dip, all we need is to a bowl, we're gonna add about half of a cup of vegan mayonnaise, along with one tablespoon of that ranch mix, plus two tablespoons of unsweetened plant-based milk, and half of a tablespoon of lemon juice, or the juice from about a quarter of a lemon. Then we're gonna mix this all up, and our ranch dip is ready. Now when the tofu strips are golden and they're finished baking, we can then remove them from the oven. And when they are still warm, but they're cool enough to handle, what we wanna do is dunk the strips into the saucepan of the hot sauce mixture. And we wanna let any excess liquid drip off before we then transfer this to our serving plate. We're just gonna repeat this whole process until all the tofu and all of the sauce is used up.
when we're ready to serve this one up. Feel free to garnish it first with a little bit of chopped up chives if you'd like, and then you're ready to enjoy. These tofu strips have a really lovely texture of being really firm and saucy on the outside, but then they have this like light and soft texture on the inside. It's super flavorful and delicious just on its own, but like I said, even more tasty if you dunk it straight into that ranch dip. And then one of my personal favorite ways to kind of enjoy these strips is actually to make little wraps out of them. I find that that tart and spice taste of the buffalo sauce, it's kind of mellowed out really nicely when it's served on some toasted tortillas together. I like to just add it with some like romaine lettuce and some fresh avocado slices. Then you can add those saucy buffalo strips to it. And then if you drizzle that vegan ranch sauce over top, it is the best. For the final recipe, we're making some flavor-packed, spicy, and garlicky tofu. So to start, we've got a 450 gram block of pre-pressed tofu that we're gonna cut into about one centimeter cubes. We're gonna transfer these cubes over to a bowl, and then we're gonna sprinkle over top two tablespoons of cornstarch, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, half of a teaspoon of salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Then we're gonna gently give this all of a toss to coat and we're gonna bring it over to the stove where we're gonna add it to a large pan on high heat and we're gonna cook this up until it's golden. A little tip about the tofu at this stage, try to not disturb it. Just let it sit there for at least a couple minutes before you give it a toss. If we stir too early on, that's when the tofu tends to crumble apart. So after a couple minutes, give it a toss, wait another couple minutes or so, and you can continue this process until the tofu is nice and lightly golden, which usually takes about seven to 10 minutes. So while the tofu is cooking away, we're gonna make the sauce for this recipe. So to a jar, I'm gonna be adding in two tablespoons of maple syrup, a tablespoon of gochujang, which is a Korean chili paste, but feel free to use any other hot sauce here you'd like. Plus we're gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And then we can just give this all a mix and set it aside for now. We're also gonna do a little bit of chopping. So this is a garlicky tofu recipe that we're making, so it might be no surprise that we're gonna be using five cloves of garlic for this part. We're gonna mince this all up nice and finely, and then we're going to dice one large shallot. If you don't have a shallot, feel free to use a regular onion here instead. And then we're gonna thinly slice two red hot chili peppers. And finally, we're gonna thinly slice about two stalks of green onion. Now returning to the stove, when the tofu is nice and golden and crispy on all sides, we're then gonna transfer it to a bowl and we're gonna return the pan to the stove, adding in about two tablespoons or so of vegetable oil. And when it's hot, we can then add in the garlic, shallot, chili, and green onion mixture all at once. And we're gonna saute this for about four to five minutes before we then reduce the heat to about medium, medium high or so. And then we can pour in the sauce. We're gonna let this cook at a gentle simmer giving it an occasional stir for about four to five minutes or until the sauce just thickens up a little bit. And at this point, we can then add the tofu back into the pan and give it all a stir to coat it up. At this point, we're already ready to serve it. So when the sticky and delicious bites of tofu have been transferred to a bowl, feel free to garnish it with some toasted sesame seeds. It's a recipe that so easily impresses. It's got a ton of flavors packed into one fun little bite-sized package. It's a bit spicy, tangy, sweet, and a touch salty. It's delicious to enjoy just on its own as like a side dish or an appetizer, or feel free to use this tofu recipe to jazz up just about any stir fry or fried rice dish. And if you know anyone who's just not a fan of the taste of tofu, I think this recipe might just convert them. So hopefully you've got a few different recipes that you can try now with tofu in all of its versatility. But I would love to know how you typically enjoy tofu yourself at home, if you'd like to share. Um, maybe you can share what kind of sauces you usually toss it in or what dishes you enjoy it in. I think it's great inspiration for me and others who might see it as well. So see in the comments. If you're looking for the full breakdown to the recipes, as always, I'll leave those links for you in the description box below. But thanks so much for being here with us. Hope you, hopefully, hope you enjoyed. Big up Lime signing off and we'll see you in the next video. I need positive affirmations sometimes, Alex. Just great. Thank you. <laughs> about half of a cup of Frank's Red Hot. I'm using about half of a cup of, I did it again, half of a cup. What is up with me? I've always had troubles like making it balance, you know? Oh man. How's my hair? Brown.